All right, folks, the deck is Big Demon Hunter. The goal of the deck is to survive the early game, get to Proving Grounds to summon either two big minions from our deck to fight or a big minion and a dormant or small minion so that they both survive, giving us a big, impactful board early in the game. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Ruffle. Watch this! Got AoE to survive. Just need to find the proving grounds now. A good top deck here. Not bad. Prefer that to stay in my deck, but at least it's like a minion that's a little bit easier to play from hand. And at least I haven't drawn consecutive minions the first few turns of the game, so. It's new and exciting. <laughs> Gotta get through me. Yeah. It's kind of fine. I look for card draw for this. Probably not that card draw. Just play for board here. That's pretty good. I can curve my uh, minions out pretty re uh, pretty well here. In a box, pirate stuff. Fly, Polly. We even just got like a emulation ore this turn. Chaos Nova isn't actually a great draw because, like, I can only clear so many boards, right? So, and I still take damage while I'm clearing boards once the Juggernaut comes down. So, I, like, I need to be able to develop at some point in this game. We're gonna need more gunpowder. Why? What? No, oh, right, they got two more shots. I mean, it has to be this. Cannons go first, then it dies. In a box? Pirate stuff. I was looking for there, but I should be able to at least uh, kill off the Rakara and then start developing the eight drops. Or are they just gonna push for lethal? They're not that close. Someone's gotta lead the charge. If I just play this now, seems good. Seems great. <laughs> All right. Sigil on one seems pretty good. This is good if it ends up being Murlocs. Also good if it's Murlocs, but just something to do in the early game as well. Happy Hallows End. Um, probably not Murlocs. Careful. We wouldn't want you to croak. <laughs> the Rawls got jokes. I can't wait for their dirty rat. They're just gonna play it here, right? Unlucky. Vengeance is mine. 
Swag. Thank you for that raid. Hope you had a good stream. What are you up to today? Yeah, probably just give up the ammo aura here. Nas Nogginfogger Priest with double Shadow Word Death and double Shadow Word Rune. Wonderful. Hope you enjoyed shenanigans. Let's just have a little peek, chat. Oh, um. I owe you a kingly thanks. Looks like Big Shaman. So they might actually hit me with an Ancestor's Call. They probably have Coin Eureka this turn, but it's not very good for hitting the Walking Fountain, is it? At this stage. Oh wait, they can't even, they overloaded so they can't even Coin Eureka. Come on! Alright, I can just uh, emo this. Or I can leave it on the board. I was guaranteed to hit that, I don't know why I was complaining. <laughs> Maybe it's not big and they just are like control shaman. That seems weird. Just kind of hoping to hit the tormentor there. So that was uh, pretty good for me. And I just want to get this damage upstairs, right? I do not want to buy your froggy crown. God, the sales pitches in Hearthstone are getting out of control. Well, I struggled with the first one, so... Wave, thank you for the two months. Didn't even need improving grounds this game. Just needed green rag. Like honestly, warrior feels beatable with this deck, especially if I can coin improving grounds. Now this is this is a hand. I would have liked that to stay in my deck just because it's a good pull from the Proving Grounds, but like I could always get the uh, Fell Summoner and pull it from hand. I don't have anything for turn one, but most of the time neither does the opponent, so I think it's fine. Chaos Nova is good. Yeah, but thank you for the $5 tip. Hey, Raffle, could you try to make a secret Galakron rogue deck with, work out someday soon? I know it's too much to ask, but it mean a lot because I really love Yogg decks. Much love from Brazil. Yeah, I'll probably, like, I've been planning a Galakron rogue for a while, but then, like, the mini set happened and I wanted to play new cards. So eventually I'll, I'll probably do it. Maybe throw in a parlay. as a bummer hand from the opponent, but... That should give us the time we need. They drew patches, yeah, but they also do the Parachute Brigand. Although, like in this case, because I had the ammo aura, like the Parachute Brigand ended up kind of uh, just like removing a card from the hand because it never got to attack me. All right, that needs to die though. So either I top deck I-Beam or I just go ammo aura into uh, hero power. I don't want to have to coin this because I want to be able to coin this, so they're probably developing the Ankar this turn because their hand has been so bad. Pretty sure both Stalag and Fugan die at the same time you get two 11-11s? Uh, uh, yeah, but like, the odds of that happening aren't great, are they? Oh. 
That is a singular minion. Well, we're not getting the Illidari OTK this time. But their lone hit card is very likely Ankar, so they're not developing a lot this coming turn, so we are going to have the breathing room for the Proving Grounds, I think. The Locker Crawler? Yeah, how else are you going to guarantee that you have a target for it other than running the card in Pirate Warrior? Use your brain, Twitch chat. Hmm. I mean, 8 cost Pit Lord is pretty good. Let's see what we get here. Alright. Actually good hits. Deck doing its thing. I've got a lot of good demons in hand, too. Not the one I wanted to pull necessarily, but still all right. Let's go face, hero power, chaos nova. Pretty gross. Job done. Ow. Good old green rag. Uh, so I just need to find something to do next turn. Probably don't want to play Need for Greed. Um, maybe trade it first, see if I can hit the Proving Grounds. If not, I'll find something off of Illidari Studies. And then play the 8-mana Pit Commander into the 9-mana Pit Commander. That assumes the opponent's not just, like, dead, which they are on board right now. They could have Shiver. But they don't. Alright. Illidari Inquisitor is hard carrying right now. Another Shaman. This looks like a full mole to me. Hey, Raffle, I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Sure, could you hold, please? Vengeance is mine. Sure, okay. Chat, don't tell them. I'm just going to let them stay on hold. My mana is too low. Hope they enjoy this elevator music. Hit me with your dirty rat, you coward. I ain't talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fantastic. You know what? I could use a different hand. Did I just kill that? Nah, maybe they'll bounce it. Wave! Thank you for the gifted sub. Watch me draw them into Florgal Toxfin here. More stats to eat. Engine A. Attack into that to remove the taunt. And then eat them stats. No taunt, please. Thank you. I mean, I can still target your face with this void doggo. Pretty good at eight. Oh, come on! <laughs> that was your choice! You can't get mad? Yeah. Right, 
least I can't draw these minions. Jeez. Vigil is good. But the rest are minions. None will survive. Home in the shadows. My beam's likely to be good in this matchup, but it's gonna be hard to outcast because of my hand. So I'm just having to pay full price for it, I think. the dagger swing, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Jeez. I mean, I just have to hope that this is enough to buy me time to start getting other things down. Might next turn, that would be something in Odd Rogue. Please stop drawing minions. Maybe I should have just hero powered it down, but. Saved. I'm just going with the safe line. I've also just got lethal with the Illidari Inquisitor next turn. This also just kills them. Stay in the shadows. This ends now. Uh, if it's Edwin, I need to go fast. Looks like it might be the Edwin deck, which is going to be tough unless I like I just have to set up a wall of taunts somehow. But that's never going to slow them down enough, right? I'm also just not going to, unless I draw um, proven grounds off of the sigil. I'm not going to get anything online before they get their Edwin going. Wait, is it Mill Rogue? Vengeance. 
What makes you say Edwin deck no cards played yet? Yeah. I just I don't know what other like rogue deck people are playing that isn't odd rogue. And isn't developing on turn one. It looks like Mill. Which is not good for me because Vanish is a thing. So the uh, Tormentors are going to be important, I think. Let's play that and start curving my uh, Antions so that I can at least apply pressure. I need to uh, discover a Glide just to shuffle this entire hand back into my deck. Wouldn't hurt to shuffle the opponent's hand as well. But I just curve the Antions out. That's my game plan here. Sure. Alright, there's my Glide, right? Would Glide be good as a main deck in this deck? Uh, possibly. Death does not scare me. But like, it's kind of hard to pay full price for. Like that Death Lord is kind of... Kind of bad for them. Let's get a glide here. Or I could just go here. Okay. Not the best hit, but it's also not bad off of... Um, if it gets vanished, right? Because then it dies. Jits, thank you for the three months. Happy to support my favorite streamer, YouTuber. Keep up the great content, please. I love it. Well, thank you for the kind words. Glad you're enjoying it. I want to keep this as a death rattle on board, I think. Just because it gives me a little bit of board resilience. Well, kind of makes things awkward, right? Because I also want to get 16 damage to face here. Yeah. I've also got... Oh, man. This is just... This is actually turning into a great matchup. So I have Green Rag next turn. Prep Vanish. It was inevitable, but like I got my damage already. And we just start chaining the green rags now. My hand is full. Gotta be coin the Zoth here, and, and that might not be enough. Just everything goes face. One more. Uh, it's 23 damage coming at me. Problem is now they can potentially shuffle the Nazoth in there. But... Is that actually a problem? I 
actually the uh, immolation ore is going to be good, right? For getting through these. Fine. I think we win from here. I don't know what these trades are. Or what they're working towards. No shadow step is very good for me, at least. Another banish, maybe? You cannot escape the shadow death. Okay, so I just start chaining these again. My hand is full. You will regret imprisoning me. go here and here to clear the um it's too much healing stats to eat for this. Can't play the Nizok with that. I think maybe looking for prep banish again. Death does not scare me. GG. Oh wait, I need these hits to go face. GG. That was the exact number of cards that I needed to... Or number of hits that I needed on their face. Whew. I mean... It was about the expected outcome, right? Like half went to each. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Korback, Nogglesher, Nate Grex, St. Arthur, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Fanfix. 